Welcome to the GPS PhotoLink 5.1 Select Output video. In this video you'll learn how to select all the different outputs available in GPS PhotoLink and how to set the options on those outputs as well. To get to the Select Output, select the tab number 7 Select Output. GPS PhotoLink can output two types of data, report files and data files. Report files include like web pages, the Microsoft Word report, and Adobe PDF report. Data files are like Esri shapefiles, Esri geodatabases, Google Earth files, GPX and XML format, Access database, or just a flat text file. To select the output you want, just check the box next to the output and that will enable that output. For each output, there's various settings. For each output, there's various settings. So first we're going to look at the web pages or HTML output. You can choose whether to have the photo on the report to be either the watermark photo or the original untouched photo. And if you click on the photo, whether you link to the watermark photo or to the original photo, then you can choose to include in the report the overview maps, background maps, or the attribute table. And the select the map source if you want it from the static maps or a dynamic map from the Bing maps. Next is the Microsoft Word report. Here you can select the type of Word output you want, either Word 97 or Word 2007 format. And you can also choose to output either the watermark photo or the original photo in the report. And the report footer can have title, page numbers, report date and time. Just check or uncheck the ones that you want or don't want. Again, you can also include the overview map on the report the two background maps that appear for each photo, and the attribute table. And for the attribute table, you can also force the attribute table to start on the next page so it appears on its own and not broken up. Next is Adobe PDF. You can select the watermark original photo again. It has the same report footer as the Word report, and the same includes as the Word report as well, overview map, background maps, at your table and whether to start it on the next page. Next are the data files. The first is the Esri shape file. This will output a shape file. You can include the core raw values and what that is are the actual latitude, longitude, altitude, and direction as numbers in the shape file as opposed to just text output. You can also select to create a field of view shape file which is the little wedge view that shows you the direction of photo when you took your photo. The shapefile will also use the projection that you've selected in the project settings. Next is the geodatabase output. This is for the Esri geodatabases. You can select the type of geodatabase, personal, file, or enterprise. You can also choose to create a new database or browse to an existing one. So you can append data to an existing database. You can select what the name of the table will hold the picture data, or you can append the data to an existing table. You can also output the field of view table, which is the field of view is the wedge that shows the direction of photo. You can also include the core raw values, which are the latitude, longitude, direction as numbers. And then specific to the geodatabases, you can choose to embed your photos right in the database instead of just having a file link. This will include the photo as an actual database record so it stays in the whole database. The next output is Google Earth output. For Google Earth you can select to have the KML or KMZ file output. KML works well on local disks and the KMZ is great for emailing or sharing with other people. You can use the Google Earth output in Google Earth or the free ArcGIS Explorer as well. You can select what type of icon to use. You can use the photo itself, a small thumbnail as the icon, or you can choose a symbol as the icon. And if you choose an arrow and you have direction information, you can also rotate that arrow based on your direction of photo. And you can select the size of the icon. Then in the pop-up box that appears in Google Earth, you can select what you want to show in that pop-up box. 
have the photo, which type of photo you want, and attribute table, and any of these links you want as well. For your output options, lock points to ground will lock your photo points to the ground, which works for most occasions. But if you're taking aerial photos from an airplane, you want to uncheck this box, and then it'll leave the photos as the actual altitude of the airplane. You can also select to show the field of view cones, again the direction of the photos that were taken as a pie shape field of view. The next output is a GPS exchange format. This is a simple XML output and you can select whether to have the link in the GPX file to be either linked to the watermark photo or to the original photo. And for GPX file, the waypoint data output will be the data selected in the shared output settings for the photo title and photo comment. Next is the access database. You could have GPS photo link output a relational database for imported to other databases and this type of database you want, MDB or XML type. And the last output is a text file. This is a flat simple text file that outputs all the information either as comma delimited, tab space, colon or semicolon and you can choose the file extension and again include the core raw values in the output as well. Once you're done selecting all your outputs, then you just click create output to create all your data. That's it for select output video. Thank you.